So whatever the syllabus completed till midterm examination, uh, till Saturday, will be there in uh, questions of midterm examination. So let us start with the content. And last week we had seen Smith chart. What do we mean by Smith chart? What are the contents of Smith chart? How we can uh, understand the concerned parameters just a moment Is the screen visible to you all? Anybody please reply? Okay. Okay. Uh, I think uh, all of uh, you people are having somewhat basic idea related to Smith chart that we had seen in uh, last lecture. But I think if a uh, few of the students are absent or they haven't yet understood, uh, just we'll have a brief revision. What is the meaning of Smith chart? So here we can observe that Smith chart is nothing but a chart on which we are able to plot the parameters or the coordinates or the location of any point of our transmission line. Please note that we are studying chapter number 3. The name of chapter is a transmission line. In transmission line, if suppose we have to plot the characteristics of the transmission line for uh, analysis, for understanding or for study, then Smith chart can be observed to be a one of the important and a very good tool that will be helping us to understand the characteristics or the properties of transmission line. In a very simpler way, if suppose the screen is visible to you all, upper semicircle will be indicating or any point in the upper semicircle will be indicating that the load is inductive type of uh, reactors. And uh, if suppose the lower type of semicircle is there, we can consider the load to be in the uh, capacitive type of reactants. The horizontal line as the cursor is indicating will be the location indicating the load or the transmission line which will be consisting of a, a resistive type of reactants. If the overall reactance is of resistive type, neither inductive nor capacitive, we can locate the point on the horizontal green colored line at the uh, center that we can observe. The right extremity of the horizontal line will be, indicate, will be indicating a point of open circuit. Here we can observe that Z is equal to infinity is mentioned indicating that Z is infinite, means impedance is the maximum value that can be plotted here and Z is equal to zero, 
towards the left extremity of the diameter, green color diameter will be indicating the short circuit. Please note that these type of questions also will be there in the mid-same examination. That's why we have to prepare or we have to understand the concept in a very well manner. The blue colored circles are indicating the values of resistances used in the transmission line. Okay, blue colored complete circles and green colored partial circles are indicating the parts of imaginary coefficient of the reactance that is nothing but the either capacitive reactance or it might be inductive reactance. Here also we can observe I am of Z means imaginary part of Z is here plus 1 and here at the bottom side we can observe the imaginary part of uh, impedance is minus 1 whether it is uh, less than 1 whether it is greater than 1 will be the points that can be observed soon but here we can see that the imaginary part can be shown with the help of partial type of circles here there are different type of circles that we can consider out of that a part of the circle will be present in circle and we are going to consider only that much portion for the consideration of locating the points related to the required or the concerned transmission line. Okay, uh, for that purpose we have to use a Smith chart for locating of these points. Here we can see that if suppose real part of Z, RE of Z is uh, indicated that is equal to 0 will be the maximum value of circle and slowly here we can observe that that circle will be having maximum radius but step by step we can observe that as a real part is going to be a value increasing the radius of circle will be going to be decreasing, 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 decreasing and so on at uh, uh, infinite value of resistance here we can see that the circle will be having a very minimum value of uh, resistance value okay so if uh, it is clear uh, to you all let us proceed further so in case of smith chart we know or before uh, uh, for going into further analysis we can try to understand that if suppose uh, for this particular smith chart that we have drawn there may be a typical question by one of the students that uh, sir you suppose uh, a real value of Z that is nothing but resistance part of any transmission line or the reactance type of any transmission line may be a 10, 20, 100, 1000, 2000, uh, lakh, million, whatever it is or infinite. Under that case, how we can locate these points? So because here we have to consider that we have to take into consideration the normalized impedance value. Now what is this normalized impedance value? If suppose we are considering the characteristic impedance of the transmission line, we will divide to the impedance of the transmission line by the characteristic impedance so that we will be getting the exact value required to be drawn on the transmission line. The concept will be made clear in the example. But just note down that we are going to represent the same values of the transmission lines and that will be possible to be visualized on the Smith chart. So here as we can see that everywhere we have written Z, imaginary part of Z, a real part of Z. Again, imaginary part of Z is equal to 0 on this horizontal line. Again, this Z is equal to 0, Z is equal to 1, where impedance is matched. Under that case, we can say that impedance is matched and Z is equal to 1. Here again, there is Z. Here again, there is Z, a real part of Z, a real part of Z. All the values that we can observe that will be indicated with the help of a impedance value of the transmission lines. Instead of that, 
if suppose we are considering the conductance value we will be having a somewhat different type of smith chart so we will have to consider there are two type of uh, smith charts that can be drawn one will be impedance type of transmission line that is in front that is in front of us and another type of transmission line that we can draw is admittance type of transmission uh, sorry admission admittance type of uh, a smith chart that can be observed in the next screen so here we can observe that we have interpreted or we have represented the values of the transmission line effectively so that we can consider this type of uh, smith chart as the or we can call it as the impedance type of transmission line here three values that we can observe towards the left hand side as the cursor is indicating one is j x y z another is minus j x y z what is the difference it is plus j it is minus j upper side it will be a inductive reactance and bottom side it will be a capacitive reactance and the black line will be indicating the resistive type of reactant that we can re resistance type of value of the overall impedance that we can note here so everywhere here we can observe what is there every value that is x is again divided by z r is again divided by z and x is again here divided by z what are these values these values can be considered to be the normalized impedance values if suppose any particular transmission line is having a characteristic impedance now what is characteristic impedance in previous few lectures we have seen that characteristic impedance is nothing but z0 or in a simpler words it can also be treated as z which is nothing but the characteristic impedance or of any transmission line if suppose we are considering the characteristic impedance of any transmission line here we can divide the impedance value x by z also we can divide the resistance value by z so that we will be getting the reactance as well as resistance part that can be shown on the transmission line in a very easy manner here we can see that if suppose r by z is a value 0 we will have to allot a highest radius type of circle if suppose r by z is 0.1 the second circle can be considered and so on we can proceed further okay till we will be reaching to the infinite value if suppose we are using admittance in case of impedance what structure we can observe that can be seen here now over there in case of impedance type of transmission line we had seen that the circle is uh, all the circles are touching each other at uh, right extremity but here we can see that if suppose we are considering the admittance parameter instead of uh, reactance of impedance in instead of considering impedance then this smith chart will be somewhat different depending on the characteristic of transmission line we can consider the admittance type of transmission line or impedance type of transmission line okay for example uh, if normalized impedance is still a confusion for few student as we had seen in last lecture that attendance was very less i would like to repeat is if suppose there are uh, different type of students entering the class in the in the first year diploma from cbsc board from icsc board from state board or any other board or from any other state then the total examination value or total uh, 
score of the students will be definitely different few students will be having a 290 marks few students will be having 750 marks few students will be having uh, 430 marks whatever it is it will be dependent on the out of overall marks what is the marks obtained by that student but if suppose we will be required to plot or if we will have to uh, a display a merit list of all the students what we'll have to do we'll take all the students uh, mark sheet we'll record it in excel sheet what we'll do we will divide the total marks of the students by the total marks out of which examination was conducted those students who will be having 290 marks it may happen that examination will be of 400 marks those students who have scored 750 marks may have examination conducted out of 800 marks those students who are having 430 marks it may happen that examination conducted will be of 1000 marks accordingly different percentage of these students can be calculated and depending on the percentage value we can define the merit list so that as per the hard work or the talent of the students we can admit the concerned student as here we can note that all the students will be having different percentages a different total marks type of exam routine or different scenario but one point will be common for all that none of the students will be scoring more than 100% according to that we can define the merit list of the students in a very similar way friends we have to note that if suppose me chart is required to be drawn what we will do we will divide it by the characteristic impedance in case of impedance type of transmitter impedance type of smith chart and will have to multiply by the impedance value to the admittance now what is this admittance admittance is this b what is this b b is indicating 1 upon x the reciprocal of inductive reactance is here b and uh, will have to multiply by the characteristic impedance so that we can look at the point in a very similar way over there in case of uh, inductive type of uh, or impedance type of smith chart we have seen over there r by z and here it is g into z okay that we have to remember here the point at the cursor indicating will be the point with the zero value of a conductance that can be marked and the left extremity will be having an infinite value of a conductance that can be recorded here accordingly we can define the points or the parameter and we can look at these values then if suppose we will combine both this smith chart the structure will be like this in some complicated cases where there are few concept of uh, impedance type of smith chart are there and few examples are there for capacity type of uh, reactors are there we can combine or we can draw both this smith chart essentially into one for the comparative analysis and we can use it for the further processing girl student of the class can observe this to be a very beautiful diagram and in this navratri you can also draw this smith chart in front of your homes so that uh, concept conceptual clarity also will be there and uh, uh, the audience or the people's coming to your home will be very happy to see that uh, yes we students are going to be very practical engineers and it will be helpful for learning the learning the concept with interest also boy student also can try so uh, let us proceed further uh, as per the 
image in uh, our syllabus page or in some books that we can that we can uh, refer it here we can see that in the standard printed smith chart that is that is present here we can locate few of the important parameters of the chart that can be made somewhat more clearer i think it will be possible to be viewed by you all just a moment yes here we can observe that whether it is visible to you or not i don't know but on the horizontal line here we can see that there are different type of parameters that we can locate for the transmission line if suppose we locate the point on this smith chart directly we can get the values of a standing wave ratio the uh, bottom line on which cursor is moving is a scale on which different values are noted from these values we can find the voltage standing wave ratio as well as voltage standing wave ratio in uh, decibels we can also find the transmission loss in different type of steps we can calculate or instead of calculation we can directly get the value of loss coefficient of the transmission line in the same way we can also calculate the loss in the decibel different values can be calculated or can or can be observed directly we can use a number of formula to find out these parameter but instead of that smith chart is one of the efficient tool if we locate the points directly from the top if suppose we are drawing the perpendicular on these lines we will be getting the values directly in decibel values in direct values for the further analysis of transmission line so here uh, we will try to understand the concept uh, with more clarity for that purpose uh, we will uh, understand or we will try to concentrate our attention on one example i think uh, there is no any communication problem or there is no any issue everybody is uh, listening properly if anything is there you can uh, post in the chat box or if there if there is nothing just try to pay attention so now we will read the question uh, what is the mentioned on the uh, screen is draw the following on the smith chart also this type of questions will be there in uh, final examination in the university question paper probably if your uh, luck is uh, good there will be a theory exam that will be conducted in the month of december or january or uh, as per the date defined by them later but here we have to note that if suppose this question is there in your final uh, semester examination at the time question will be draw the following parameters on this smith chart just you can raise your hand at the time of examination uh, you can just ask the examiner to provide this smith chart they will be providing you this smith chart that is printed chart that is present here in front of us and you will have to locate the points accordingly now we we'll try to learn the uh, required points here for that purpose to understand the concept effectively we will try to understand two to three examples on this smith chart so what they have provided is draw this smith chart what they have provided it is uh, it is they have provided the normalizing impedance that is characteristic impedance that we are considering z0 is provided as a 50 ohm try to understand 50 ohm is the value of a characteristic impedance or the impedance required to normalize the value and for a b c d e type of examples that we have to consider first of all we will start with the first value i think the concept is uh, being clear to you for first transmission line we are trying to observe that uh, impedance is 50 plus j 75 ohm who will tell me whether this is a inductive type of reactance or a capacitive type of reactance anybody let us have a connectivity check a transmission line is consisting of uh, its impedance provided as 50 plus j 75 ohm anybody from the class 
can answer whether it is inductive, whether it is having inductive reactants or in a capacitive reactants. Just try to uh, answer so that we can uh, continue in a fast manner. You can also post in the chat box. Anybody? No one? Okay, just try to remember that whenever that uh, impedance value is positive, it will be inductive reactors. If suppose it is uh, negative, it will be a capacity type of reactance. Then here as 75 value or the imaginary part is positive, we can consider that it will be a inductive reactance or the transmission line is consisting of a inductive reactance. Then uh, we will have to make this impedance value provided 50 plus J75 into A normalize the value. How we can do it? We will have to divide that 50 plus J75 by the characteristic impedance that they have given is a 50 ohm. What will, ha what will happen over there? 50 plus J75 ohm divided by 50 will be the normalized value. Now I think you can answer 50 plus J75 divided by 50. What will be the value? Anybody? 50 plus J75 divided by 50. What is the value? Definitely you have to divide to real as well as to the imaginary part. I think all students have kept the mobile somewhere and they are enjoying. Nobody is going to listen. Omkar, can you tell me? Can you tell here the answer? What is the value 50 plus J75 divided by 50? Very easy. Yes, Priyanka has answered it is. Punamalsha has answered 1 plus 3 by 2. Or we can say that 1 plus 1.5. Here we can observe that the impedance value or the normalized impedance will be 50 divided by 50 will be 1. Yes, right. It will be. 75 divided by 50 will be 1.5. That is, normalized impedance is 1 plus J 1.5. And that point is required to be drawn on the Smith chart. How we can observe? Just note that this example A is, uh, is uh, shown on the Smith chart with the point capital A. So here we can observe that the point A is somewhere of the transmission line. It is related to the 50 plus J75 ohm value. Definitely as uh, just we had discussed, uh, this point is there on the upper side of the horizontal line because it is having inductive type of reactance which is positive. Now if suppose you will observe carefully, you can see that here is a transmission line circle which is having resistance as per the cursor is moving. We have to note that forget all the other points on the transmission line. Try to concentrate on the point on which cursor is moving. The circle is nothing but the circle having value of R equal to 1. Here if, to, if towards the left extremity if you will observe we can see that circle will be having R is equal to 0, then here will be R is equal to 0 0.1, R is equal to 0 0.2, R is equal to 0 0.3, then so on. Here, we, here it will be a circle with R is equal to 1. Because just 50 divided by 50, we have considered it as 1. And uh, the second part will be a circle or a partial circle or an arc here we can see is that on this particular structure that I am going to explain you. Here I think you, are, you, are, you will be able to see 1.2, 1.4, 1.6, 1.8 on which here this particular line is indicating 
वन पॉइंट फाइव on our graph paper also it if it is not possible to be plot plotted any specific point we try to find any approximate location in a very similar way here we can see that point a is having a reactance arc of 1.5 and it will be having the resistance value of radius 1 that is first real part is shown by the radius is equal to 1 and the reactance part will be 1.5 that is the quarter circle that we can observe here okay if it is clear i will continue with the second example now the example is changed here we can see that the second example 10 plus j 0 is indicating that 50 ohm value will be divided to this particular resistance or the reactance value will be getting 50 divided sorry 10 divided by 50 because for all the examples they have provided the characteristic impedance of 50 ohm so therefore 10 divided by 50 plus 0 divided by 50 from the value 10 plus j0 will be indicating that it is a purely resistive type of load and in example 3 we can see that load is purely of reactance type because uh, in c example we can see that there is zero the value of resistance it will be a reactive load so here we can see that j plus uh, sorry 10 plus j0 if it is divided by the characteristic impedance will be having or we are able to understand that this is a point definitely that can be shown on the horizontal line at center because we know that horizontal line is indicating the resistive or purely resistive line which is now having the normalized the characteristic or normalized the resistance value 10 divided by 50 is nothing but 0.2 therefore point b will be there on the horizontal line here at the start it will be zero then 0.1 then here we can see b point located that will be nothing but 0.2 accordingly all points can be drawn for c point we can see 0 minus j 80 ohm i will divide it by 50 0 divided by 50 will be definitely zero therefore i will have to consider a circle with r is equal to zero value that will be on the circumference of circle then uh, why we have located it in the bottom because we can see that it is minus j 80 80 divided by 50 what is the value 80 divided by 50 80 divided by 50 will be a value 8 by 5 8 by 5 uh, 5 and 5 5 6 0 30 it will be 1.3 if you see carefully we can see here that this particular arc will be having the point c which will be indicating the location of that specific transmission line also if we learn effectively or in a, at a higher depth we can see that gamma is equal to 0.360 degree how we can convert into the uh, real and imaginary part we can use the conversion from polar to cartesian or polar to rectangular and from rectangular to polar we can convert it or it can also be directly plot as here 0.3 is the value with an angle of 60 degree here we can see that 60 degree angle can be taken from center and the circle with this 0.3 can be plotted as here with point d in a very similar way for e example a constant circle for a voltage standing wave ratio with rho is equal to 2.5 here can be visualized as shown here which will be having constant value of that is we will have to take that value of 2.5 as the radius and we can draw a circle which will be having the same value of voltage standing wave ratio that can be shown here though we are uh, trying to uh, speed up but just remember only one point that 
what we have to understand smith chart can be used for location of any transmission line effectively so that we can analyze the transmission line effectively there are of two types of transmission line and we can locate the points accordingly so one more example they had given i think uh, if it is uh, somewhat uh, critical to be understood shall we stop and we'll continue in the next lecture is it sufficient so that we can understand the further part because uh, more uh, one or two examples will be there that we we'll, we can cover in the next lecture okay i think it is uh, sufficient for our today lecture try to read the concepts taught in previous lecture please note that 20 questions will be there from transmission line chapter 10 questions will be from first chapter and 10 questions will be there from second chapter in the mid sem examination if there is anything from your side you can tell me otherwise we can stop